Throughout the U.S., there's a lot of new activity these days in the semiconductor industry. That's who produces the little chips that power, well, just about everything. Many who attended this year's Semicon West trade show in San Francisco are hoping to get in on the action. In a typical year, we have about $15 billion worth of investment in the United States semiconductor industry. This year, we're at over $300 billion. The big reason? An influx of federal funds to bring semiconductor production back to the U.S., resulting in massive private sector investments. U.S. officials became concerned after chip shortages during the pandemic impacted the availability of everything from automobiles to household appliances. The resulting 2022 Chips and Sciences Act set aside 52 billion U.S. dollars to incentivize domestic semiconductor manufacturing. Another major issue for Washington is that the production of most of the world's advanced semiconductors is in Taiwan. As tensions simmer with China, which considers the island its territory, there is a push to localize the supply chain of an industry seen as critical to U.S. national security. Mr. Trump came into office, I'm sold the trade wars, and that's carried off. That geopolitical standoff between Beijing and Washington has created opportunities for other countries. Malaysia, for example, has long been an important supplier to the industry. We always being the so-called um, substitute to countries like uh, China, for instance, whereas as, as it stands, there is a significantly high tax imposed into companies from China in which we think that we can be the so-called uh, companies from Malaysia can be the answers to fill in that gap. U.S. states are keen to take advantage as well. Semiconductor giants TSMC and Intel recently announced new facilities in Arizona spurred by those federal subsidies. We feel confident that we're going to continue to bring great investment to the state of Arizona, great quality jobs to the state of Arizona, um, and the goal of, of increasing our economic vitality in the states. Across the U.S., there are currently over a dozen new planned semiconductor production facilities. If those semiconductor dreams become reality, one issue the U.S. will have to address is finding enough people to work at those sites. That's led to calls to reform the skilled worker visa programs, allowing foreign workers to come to the U.S. According to a Semiconductor Industry Association study last year, if things don't change, they could be looking at a shortage of nearly 70,000 technicians in the U.S. by the end of the decade. Iris Spetzer, CNA, San Francisco.